Battle lines are being drawn in the tech world over AI regulation and who should oversee it. Today, Elon Musk voiced his support for a California bill that aims to put AI guardrails in place. But some of the industry's other big names have come out sharply against those regulations. Deirdre Bosa has more on that divide for today's Tech Check. D. Yes, it is a divide indeed, Dom. And Musk's position on AI safety, it is complicated to say the least. On the one hand, he's been a major proponent, even calling for the pausing of training. On the other hand, he recently raised $6 billion for his own AI startup and released Grok, the most non-PC major chatbot that's out there. What is certain is that Musk is a major voice and player in the space. So his endorsement of the bill could be critical, especially as it moves through legislature this week. And approval would bring it to Governor Gavin Newsom's desk to either pass or veto. Now, the bill itself requires large-scale models to undergo safety testing. So it focuses on the companies developing those models, not necessarily the ones building on top of it. Something that companies themselves say is needed and claim to be doing in the first place. But where many, like OpenAI and Andreessen Horowitz, which backs a lot of these companies, what they take issue with in the bill is likely the enforcement piece of it. Among them, it would require third-party auditors to go in and assess safety practices and would also empower the state attorney general to take legal action against developers who are not compliant. And, Don, that kind of brings us back to the sticking point whenever we talk about the regulation of new technology. The companies themselves, they ask to be regulated, but they want it to be done their own way. This particular case does raise the question, why do it here in California and not at the federal level, where it could have a bigger impact, the answer, which Senator Weiner, who is actually spearheading this particular bill, what he argues as well, is that that should be the case, but it just doesn't happen. It's all talk and no action. So here's where we are. This California bill, though, which is moving, Dom, could have implications for what does happen at the federal level eventually. And that is this really tricky topic of how to regulate this new technology. D, the California legislature is certainly influential when it comes to this kind of thing, especially if it's a precedent center. But just how likely are we to see any kind of real movement on this that then spreads to other states and perhaps even the national level? <laughs> right. And we know that government lawmakers are slow. And we also know that tech companies have a way of working around this or influencing what ultimately comes to fruition. In this case, you've got some major players who are opposing the bill, right? I mentioned um, OpenAI just a few days ago. You've also got the likes of Andreessen Horowitz and Google has sort of come out and said that this might stifle innovation. So some really important players on one side. But I think the fact that Musk has sort of thrown his endorsement could change it a little bit. We'll have to see what happens, but we should find out in the coming weeks. All right. Dee Bosa with today's tech check on AI and regulation. Thank you very much for that.